that is radio activity Henry Becquerel observed the spontaneous emission of invisible penetrating rays from the salt potassium uranyl sulfate that is K2UO2 as a four volt prize these rays influenced photographic plate in dark and produced luminosity in substances like zinc sulfide later on Mary Curie and her husband Pierre Curie named this phenomena of spontaneous emission of penetrating rays as radio activity they pointed out that number 1 it's a property of unstable or excited nucleus second it is independent of all the external conditions like pressure temperature and nature of other atoms associated with unstable atom in a compound these penetrating rays were later on identified by Rutherford as alpha and beta particles after that Willard identified a third category as gamma rays in fact gamma emission is a secondary effect after alpha or beta emission a nucleus goes to excited state when it returns to the normal state emission of gamma rays takes place therefore a radioactive substance is primarily either alpha active or beta active substance alpha and beta are particles but gamma is purely radiation alpha and beta are particles but gamma is purely radiation also these beta particles originate in the nucleus they are not orbital electrons a comparison of properties of alpha beta and gamma radiations is given in the following table here is a table consisting of four columns first column deals with property second column for alpha third for beta and fourth is for gamma particles or radiations well the first property is nature alpha particles are fast moving helium nuclei beta particles are fast moving electrons gamma radiations are electromagnetic radiations of very high frequency second property for distinction is notation alpha particles are represented by h e 24 beta by e minus 10 gamma by gamma symbol itself third charge alpha particles carry two unit positive charge beta particles carry one unit negative charge gamma particles are of course neutral fourth velocity alpha particles travel with a velocity about 1 tenth of light beta particles move faster than alpha but less than that of light gamma radiations travel as fast as light fifth relative penetrating power is small for alpha particles this can be stopped by 
एल्यूमिनियम फॉइल ऑफ इवन 0.01 मिलीमीटर थिकनेस पेनिट्रेटिंग पावर इज ऑफ कोर्स मोर फॉर बीटा बट दे कैन बी स्टप बाय एल्यूमिनियम फॉइल ऑफ वन सेंटीमीटर थिकनेस दिस पावर इज मोस्ट फॉर गम ऑफ दे कैन पास थ्रो इवन ए लेट शीट ऑफ अबाउट एट सेंटीमीटर थिकनेस नंबर सिक्स आयोनाइजिंग पावर इट इज मैक्सिमम फॉर एल्फा पार्टिकल्स ड्यू टू देयर हाई काइनेटिक एनर्जी लेस फॉर बीटा एंड लिस्ट और ऑलमोस्ट नील फॉर गामा एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एल्फा इमिशन द फॉलोइंग न्यूक्लियर रिएक्शन रिप्रेजेंट्स इट दैट इज यूरेनियम नाइन्टी टू टू थर्टी एट Changing into thorium 9234 plus He24. Thus, due to emission of an alpha particle, the mass number decreases by four units, and charge number or atomic number decreases by two units. Example of beta emission: carbon 614. Changing into nitrogen 714 plus E minus 10. Therefore, due to emission of a beta particle, there is no change in the mass number, but charge number or atomic number increases by one unit. Though these two are the main radioactive emissions. But there are three more types of radioactive processes. Of course, they are rare, but these are a emission of positron. Example is potassium 1939 changing into argon 1839 plus at the example is. Potassium 1939 changing into argon 1839 plus E plus 10. Here we see that there is no change in mass number, but atomic number decreases by one unit. Next is B, K electron capture. The example is. Beryllium 47 plus E minus 10 changing into lithium 37 plus new that represents neutrino 